Welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today's March 21st, and that means day 80 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we continue printing out parts for the Open RC F1 project, so stick around. Welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 80 of the 3DP 365 project. On yesterday's episode, we started up the Open RC F1 project as part of the 3DP 365 project. And on that episode, we printed out the lid part, and that turned out pretty awesome. For today's episode, we printed out the front piece, and this piece turned out pretty awesome too. So before we talk about the print, let's head over to Thingiverse and I'll show you where to download the model. Then we'll tab over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you my settings for this print. Then we'll meet back here and we'll talk about the print. All right, so we're back over here at Thingiverse and we're on to the next part of the Open RC F1 2017 updates. And for this, we're gonna reach back to the original model and we're gonna print this piece here. This is considered to be the front piece. And it is still part of the 2017 update. It just wasn't one of the parts that was updated. That's this piece right here with the little vents in the front. So let's tab over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you my settings for this print. All right, so here we are in Simplify 3D, and I've dropped the model down on the print bed at 100%, and it's got a really cool angle to this. But I did add a little bit of support material here just to make sure we take care of this little area here, this little sensitive area. So let me show you my process settings. Once again, we're still doing a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top, three bottom, and three perimeters. We're also running a brim at zero in the skirt offset at four outlines. For infill, we did use 20% and we may have to change this depending on the weight, but so far so good. We did generate custom support material. Under temperature, this is that Matter Hackers Pro PLA and I've decided to go with a single temperature for our prints for now on and that's 208. We have our three stage cooling system set up and we ran this out at 50 millimeters per second. So let's hit OK and let's hit prepare to print and I'll show you how it's sliced. And that was a real-time super quick slice and let me play this through so you can see how it prints and we can speed this up a little bit and i just put a little support in there just to make sure that piece printed out perfectly and it really did an awesome job there was one little part that's a little bit rough and i'll show you that when we get back to the workbench and that's this underneath area here i didn't want to put any support material here to scar up the the uh, inside of the model but it did print out and turned out pretty good. So let's head over back to the workbench and let's talk about the print. All right, so you saw my settings in Simplify 3D and I did add a little bit of support material here and that was really needed for this part because this is nice and smooth. I didn't want to put any support material underneath this part here because I didn't want to mar up the surface here. And I couldn't really reach it from the build platform by putting it down here. So I just let it run. And it is a little bit rough but it's totally acceptable and I'm really happy with the print. And I'm really, really loving this Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of pearl blue. This was the perfect choice for our F1 race car. And my G-Max did such a great job of capturing all the detail. I'm really happy with this print. So once we are done printing out all the main body parts in the pearl blue, we're gonna switch to the Pro PLA in black and start printing some of the frame and chassis parts. So some of those will be coming up this week. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video, which you can watch right up there, if I'm having some issues printing some of the smaller parts because I have a 0.5 millimeter nozzle, I'll definitely reach out to the 3DP community for your help. And I've already got a couple of volunteers, so it's pretty awesome that everybody wants to pitch in. And I've heard from a couple of my followers that they're actually going to build the car with us, so that's pretty cool. So I think what we need to do is start a racing league. But we'll talk about that at a later time, once we get our car built. But for now, this piece looks awesome and I'm ready to print the next one. And I want to give a huge shout out to Daniel Noré. He did an amazing job of designing these parts and they print so beautifully. I really love this project. Thank you, Daniel. Well, that about wraps it up for day 80 of the 3DP 365 project. I am really excited about this Open RC F1 project and I hope you guys are gonna follow along. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos and I'll see you tomorrow.